Now to a health alert, warning parents about those popular e-cigarettes. Get these products off the market that are so clearly, um, have such clear potential for harm. At issue, the packaging of the, li the liquid comes in. It's bright, colorful, and quick to grab your attention. Critics warn the candy-like packaging markets directly to kids. So what do you think? Open up the 13 News Now app, tap the live voting tile, and tell us, are e-cigarette companies marketing to children? 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson found out the feds are getting involved in this one. Well, it's packaging like this that had the FDA concerned. Look at the e-liquid on the left here and the food product on the right. So this one clearly resembling a juice box of sorts. And then to the next one, possibly Nella wafers or golden Oreos over here with this packaging. And then a third example of 17, this one looking similar to a whipped cream a container. And this is what meant the FDA sent out warning letters and eventually this packaging has been discontinued. But other companies and producers are still pushing that boundary. One look at the pictures and Dr. Paul Harrell at Eastern Virginia Medical School just has to laugh. One of them actually comes with a lollipop. Seriously? Yeah. They Marketing e-cigarette liquid like a juice box or like a box of Sour Patch Kids? To him, that's a clear attempt to attract a younger audience. And his research has found that nicotine can have dangerous effects on brain development. It's, 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 a, good, it's a good step uh, that, that this was taken and that these products are now off the market. On a national scale, the CDC says more than 2 million middle and high schoolers use some form of e-cigarettes. We have seen uh, uh, reports of, of use uh, by, by youth as, as young as 11. And even younger than that, the FDA reports an increase of ER visits caused by children ingesting liquid nicotine. Plus, in Hampton Roads, many teenagers have either started school or they're just days away. Uh, so we know that, that they are showing up in schools. Um, we know that... that Teens are using them sometimes in the bathroom, sometimes even in, in classrooms. The problem is the research on e-cigarettes is too incomplete to make sweeping changes. The long-term health impact isn't fully known, but researchers recommend caution in keeping these products away from children at the very least. And unfortunately, uh, there, there's certainly many positive things about going back to school, but there's, there's also the possibility that, that kids can get introduced to these things if, um, if parents and teachers aren't vigilant. Harold and the FDA both recognize that some of the e-cigarette flavors are both more popular and attractive to youth as well. And the FDA says it may address this with future nicotine and tobacco regulation. In studio, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.